Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today we're talking about the latest Windows 11 update that was just released and that's the update 22000.652 or KB5012643. The update itself doesn't have many highlights but they are worth noting and discussing about so let's jump right in. The first highlight relates to the new Windows Media Player which had a few issues with rendering the subtitles while watching a video. This issue caused video subtitles to be partially cut off so it probably looked like something like this, which can let you completely confused while watching a movie. Now this is fixed and you can watch your favorite movies with full subtitles. But still, on this chapter, another issue that caused the subtitles to incorrectly align on the screen was also fixed. So now the new media player can truly be a contender to other third-party alternatives. Moving on, another small detail that's been improved is related to the widgets app. Now the temperature will display on the top of the weather icon in the taskbar. But honestly, I can't even remember how it was last time. But it seems like a good change because the temperature is what matters the most in the weather context and of course the forecast. Next, let's follow up with a few fixes and improvements worth talking about. This update also fixed an issue that prevented the user from using the minimize, maximize and close buttons on a maximized app window. So basically, if your app window was full screen or maximized, the aforementioned buttons would be frozen and not responding, which is honestly a dirty bug, but now it's fixed so you don't have to worry about it anymore. Moving on, this update also addresses an issue in which certain point of sale terminals experience occasional OS startup delays during restart of up to 40 minutes. That's another dirty glitch which was quite problematic, because I mean 40 minute startup delays can totally mess up your working plan, but it's fixed, so that's good. Next, another fix relates to a memory leak issue that affects Windows systems that are in use 24 hours each day of the week. So if your system is up and running 24 hours every day, you might have encountered this memory leak issue. And it's been quite present in the latest updates most prominent in the dev and beta channels. So make sure to install this update to avoid any memory leak issues. And that's it. These were the most notable fixes. And of course, there's more to check out in the link in the description below. Summing up, I highly recommend that you get this update to enjoy a better Windows 11. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.